The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. The disciples of Jesus recounted what had taken place along the way and how they had come to recognize him in the breaking of bread. While they were still speaking about this, he stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. But they were startled and terrified and thought that they were seeing a ghost. Then he said to them, Why are you troubled? And why do questions arise in your hearts? Look at my hands and my feet, that it is I myself. Touch me and see, because a ghost does not have flesh and bones, as you can see I have. And as he said this, he showed them his hands and his feet. While they were still incredulous for joy and were amazed, he asked them, Have you anything here to eat? They gave him a piece of baked fish. He took it and ate it in front of them. He said to them, These are my words that I spoke to you while I was still with you, that everything written about me in the law of Moses and in the prophets and Psalms must be fulfilled. Then he opened their minds to understand the scriptures, and he said to them, Thus it is written that the Christ would suffer and rise from the dead on the third day, and that repentance for the forgiveness of sins would be preached in his name to all the nations beginning from Jerusalem. You are witnesses of these things. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, Jesus is called in our two readings today as the fulfillment of God. Sa salita natin, ang itinadhana ng Diyos. Usong-uso pa naman ngayon yan, ang salitang yan, no? Itinadhana ng Diyos. Baka meron ditong mga kabataan naghahanap, sino ba ang itinadhana ng Diyos para sa akin? No? Baka natatanong nyo minsan yan, sino ang itinadhana ng Diyos? O kaya, ano? ang itinadhana ng Diyos para sa buhay ko. We will know that it is God's fulfillment if it fulfills the will of God. Malalaman mong itinadhana yan ng Diyos kapag yan ay tumutupad sa salita at taat Turo ng Diyos. Jesus is called God's fulfillment because He was obedient to the will of God. In our first reading today from the Acts of the Apostles, Peter and the other disciples were preaching about Jesus. And they said, that Jesus was the fulfillment of all that God has said from Abraham to the prophets to the law of Moses. And Peter said that God will raise up a prophet like Moses who will be a servant to God, who will be obedient to God, and who will fulfill the word of God. Jesus is the fulfillment of God because He obeyed 
the word and the commands of God. Si Jesus ang katuparan ng pangako ng Diyos, ang itinadhana ng Diyos, sapagkat sumunod siya sa kalooban ng Diyos. And this is also what Jesus said in our gospel reading today when He appeared to the disciples and told them that what is written in the law of Moses in the prophets and in the Psalms will be fulfilled in me. In my suffering, in my death, and in my rising from the dead. This means, my dear brothers and sisters, that Jesus is the fulfillment of God because whatever God willed happened in His life. He obeyed what God has written for His life. Si Jesus ang itinadhana ng Diyos sapagkat sinunod niya anuman ang kalooban ng Diyos para sa Kanya. Kaya po, babalik po ako doon sa aking tanong sa umpisa. No? Ano kaya ang itinadhana ng Diyos? Sino kaya ang itinadhana ng Diyos? Mga kapatid, ito ang pamantayan. Kapag taliwas sa utos, sa turo, at sa salita ng Diyos, hindi yan ang itinadhana ng Diyos. Kaya hanapin palagi, baka tatanungin natin ang ating mga sarili, paano ko makahanap ang itinadhana ng Diyos sa akin? Huwag lamang tanungin, saan kaya ako magiging masaya? Kasi akala natin ganun, no? Where do I find my fulfillment? Ah, where I will be happy. Huwag lang hanapin, saan kaya ako sisikat? Huwag lang hanapin, saan kaya ako kikita? Para makita mo ang itinadhana ng Diyos sa'yo, tanungin mo rin, saan ko ba matutupad ang Kanyang salita? Yan. Yan ang tinadhana ng Diyos para sa iyo. So, whenever we ask ourselves, where do I find God's promise for me? Where will I find God's fulfillment for me? Do not just ask, where will I be comfortable? Where will I be happy? Ask also, where can I follow and fulfill God's word? There, I will find God's promise for me. Mga minamahal na kapatid, para makita natin ang itinadhana ng Diyos, kailangang hanapin natin saan ba natin matutupad ang Kanyang mga salita. Amen.